Welcome to this video. In this video, we will provide an introduction to the process of creating trends, as well as information on how to configure and maintain trend objects. One of the clear SCADA advanced features is an integrated data historian. The historian functionality is tied to the point configuration. To enable historic logging on a point, select the checkbox on the point configuration form as we did in our first configuration video. Clear SCADA logs data only when it needs to. So, if a point value changes 10 times in a second, clear SCADA log all 10 changes. If the value does not change for a year, clear SCADA does not log any values for that point. The Clear SCADA historian logs all data required to completely describe the history of the point and not unnecessary additional values. Typically, this makes the storage of data in Clear SCADA more efficient compact. Create a new group in the training group and name it Trends. In the trend group, create a new trend named Pumps. Open the trend in design mode. Drag the point training, reservoir, pump 1. Running onto the trend. Now let's talk about trace. The trace is the actual line of data that is displayed on the trend. Trend objects may display multiple traces. Clear SCADA provides three trace types. The current trace displays data from the time that the trend was opened up to the current time while the trend is still open. Raw Historic Trace displays actual raw data records stored in the Clear SCADA historian. Processed Historic Trace displays processed data. Calculations are performed on the raw data in the historian and the trace shows the result of the calculations. Select Current Trace from the menu. It's important for you to know that Clear SCADA has two trends type. Default trends are populated as required when the trend options are selected from the point object menu. And there are trend objects that are system specific and are configured by high level users as part of your Clear SCADA database configuration. They are objects in the database that are used in a way similar to Mimics. Note that a new trace is added to the trend and a new entry is visible in the key at the bottom of the trend. To open the properties sheet for the running trace, right-click the trace in the trend key at the bottom of the trend, and then select Edit from the menu. This dialog is used to configure the appearance and behavior of the selected trace. Source defines which point in the database is being used as the data for the trend. Label is the label field is the name of the trace used in the trend key. This is set by default to the full name of the point. Note that this field is an expression it that uses single quotes for strings and double quotes for property evaluations. Advanced source configurations allows configuration of multiple source traces and other advanced trace manipulation. Trace, the settings describe the appearance of the trace. Line is the line color and line style. Markers is the size, style, and a maximum number of markers to be shown. Now set the trace style to step last. Close the trace editor dialog and verify that the trace is recording one second values or on state change as specified by the interval slash change update property. The next step is to display a raw historic analog trace. Configure a new trend object in the trends group named Level Trend.
Create a raw historic trace for the level point on the trend window just created. To enable the count field in the trend key, right-click the key and select columns from the menu. The columns in the key can be modified to display summary information about the data. Select the count checkbox and then click OK. This adds a column to the key that displays the number of records being displayed for each trace. After you select the data to display on the trend and configure the traces, there are a number of options you can use to modify the appearance of the trace. Now, with the trend and design mode, right-click the trend and select edit properties from the menu. Users can configure general trend settings such as background color, trend titles, and fonts and X and Y axis settings such as time spans, colors, labels, and the number of markers. We have reached the end of the video. Please do the exercise in the video and the exercise attached by your hand. See you next time.